and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Anivia Sejuani. This is going to be a donation deck. That's what the two Ds, uh, let's see, there we go. That's what the two Ds over here mean, uh, donation decks. So this is a viewer submitted deck. It's our first one since the new sets come out. We don't have any new cards in here, but we got a pretty cool little mid-range deck that we're going to be playing with Anivia and Sejuani combining at the top end. So playing those with just some good value cards with Demacia. Um, you know, we have cards like Egghead Researcher that can get us some more dragons. We have Averrosen Sentry that whenever it dies, it draws a card. Um, you know, Vanguard Sergeant's creating a four Demacia. Grizzled Ranger getting, you know, doing it, its whole thing with the Scout and the Badger Bear. Blade Keeper growing whatever we need it to. Obviously, Averrosen Hearthguard and Omen Hawk pump up the units in our deck. So we have just a lot of um, good utility with all of our different units. We even have a Tiana Crown Guard at the top end to try to rally, get an additional attack with an Anivia. That could be really cool. So that's our deck. You know, like we just have a, a just a, a nice fair mid-range deck here. So let's play some nice fair mid-range. Let's see how we do. We're gonna go play our five games in ranked. Let's try it out. All right, playing against super big unfair deck. We'll see if we can pick up a win for a fair deck. Uh, Tavern Keeper fits the curve well, but it doesn't do anything, right? Like the heal your ally or Nexus 3 doesn't have any tech, so it'd just be generic 3 mana 3-3, three, three, which, like I said, does fit the curve well. I kind of want to replace it and see if we draw something else, and you know, maybe we hit like a, a 3 drop with the Omen Hawk or something like that. Yeah. A good standard mid-range deck. Nothing escapes my watch. Playing sentry here, because sentry attacks for two. Egghead researcher attacks for one. So just math. We go, got a two for it. A little time, I'll have a breakthrough. Infinite Mind Splitter. All right, I want to attack before they can play a Trundle. This turn's not going to be very good for us because we're, I mean, well, we get the good attack in, but they're probably going to play something that's really good, like Trundle, and I just have four mana. Avros and Hearthguard at 7-7 seven is looking pretty sweet. Dragons, such fascinating creatures. Okay. That's a lot of ramp. So they're turn five, they get eight mana, so they could play Infinite Mind Splitter here on turn five. These are trolls. So now if I go Sejuani next turn, I don't have Flash Freeze also available. Mm. I could go Sejuani and they could go Ruination. I don't think I play around Ruination. Because, like, let's say they Ruination, they have five cards and an Ice Pillar in hand, and I have five cards in hand. So it's still pretty even. Fairly even. Even if they do have Ruination. That's probably worse for me than Ruination. That's great. <laughs> Any weirding stones. Alright, down to eleven. For the thrill of battle. You picked the wrong tribe, barbarian. Got a bunch of good threats. I can kinda save. Flash freeze for like atrocity. We 
fight for one Freljord. I could see them passing here. Our strength is yours. Which I'm pretty fine with. Alright, so the onus is on them to do something. I'm going to pass. Because if they want to pass, then they start just obliterating cards. With War Mother's Call, because they have a filled battlefield. Come on, beat Trindamir. Yes. Obliterate that Trindamir. That's good for me. Block with the sentry. So I do not want to kill their things. I want them to have a full, full board. So as far as how to end the game, still to be determined. We fight for one Freljord. I think it's just really important to get Hearthguard down as early as possible. See, like, it would have been nice to, to be able to grow these things. Um, oh, uh... Should I play Vanguard Sergeant? I kind of meant to play Vanguard Sergeant, but... Alright, another Trindamir gone. Sweet. Trundle gone. We will take that, because we're just going to... Just run them out of threats. That's the plan. Run them out of threats. And no surprise there. Gotten rid of one Trindamir and two Trundles. Hopefully they keep on hitting Trindamirs and Trundles. They've already played all their Weirding Stones. Yep. Alright, so they're out of Trundle. And I'm saving like this Flash Freeze for whenever we need it. But why? <laughs> I don't think they meant to do that. Soldiers! Alright, there's the last Trindamir. Alright, so they're out of Trindamirs and Trundles, so they probably still have like a She Who Wanders. There's not really much incentive for us to do anything yet. There's the She Who Wanders. So that's probably it, right? Just like one Avaros and Hearthguard left or something like that. Yeah, yeah, they got the one Weirding Stones and they put a Hearthguard into play. And then the rest, then the War Mothers has just been obliterating cards after that. The Marcia soldier is worth ten foes. I guess I'm running out of space now. I guess I shouldn't have played that sergeant. So if I pass, I just, I don't draw a card. Now, the Four of Demacia is how I'm going to be finishing, the, like, probably winning this game. What does just an attack out look like? So, we just went through the easy part. Now we have the hard part of doing 15 damage to them. Uh, I guess, alternatively, they are going to mill out before I mill out. So maybe I, yeah, maybe I just cast this to get this out of my hand. 
And don't attack. Maybe we just play defense. Courage, soldier. Yeah, maybe we just play defense from here. They should be out of cards. Yeah, like they're out of yes, yeah, so their war mother's call is out of cards. So this these are the only things that can kill us. Whatever they get with Nightfall. This is our time. So we can probably start attacking now. I wanted I wanted to, them to go through a turn of not getting anything with War Mother's Call, so I know for sure they had nothing with War Mother's Call, and I didn't have to be worried about. Uh, you know, I didn't have to. Uh, consider that at all. So, you know, now now we can clear up board space. You know, I didn't want to... You know, now we, we don't have to be worried about board space at all. We can just clear it up. Because they, they don't have anything left in their deck. This is a crazy game. You won't stop us. Stand and defend. This is our homeland. That clears up some space for me. So they have like one 9-2 Trindamir is their only thing in the, the rest of their deck to do 18 damage, I think. Unless they have more things in hand that we haven't seen. They didn't play last turn with the open spot. Should be killing the Anivia. Um, I'm going to be going with the Tiana Crown Guard. No, they don't play Harrowing. They, there's a War Mother's Call deck. Will be Actually, served. Tiana, we're going to wait on you. I want to be able to attack with Anivia. This Unspeakable Horror can create this thing now? Man, Unspeakable Horror is just great. So now this thing now just got them another dragon and celestial follower. Yuck. Virtue guides me. That is 10 cards, so this card's gonna get obliterated. They're gonna draw. <laughs> so they have a couple more little things for us to deal with, but not much. I know, right? We we've obliterated. Yeah, they've they've obliterated Ruination. They've obliterated four champions, <laughs> Avros and Hearthguard, and She Who Wanders. Obliterated all of those things. All right, I'll just I'll just go to my turn and attack. They can they can obliterate another card. Oh, another Ruination. That's cool. Snow, wind, and ice. <laughs> oh man, they have they were obliterated that game. The power of doing nothing against War Mother's Call. GG. Fiora Shen. I don't think that Fiora Shen is going to be just obliterating all their stuff this time. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, we'll keep the Omen Hawk Mulligan in the top end. I like having a couple Omen Hawks. I would like my opponent to not draw the card Fiora. That's what I would like. Please do not draw the card Fiora. Just the entire game. Do not, do not cast the card Fiora. 
Can you do that? Can you pick like one card for your opponent to not cast? If so, I would I'll make that my choice. <laughs> Water changes but never breaks. Triple Omen Hawk. <laughs> you gotta admit that's pretty cool, right? It's a cool emote. Yeah, so you know, like I wanna, yeah, I wanna just like suicide in these Omen Hawks also for Fiora food, but I don't want to give them a good thing with a River Shaper. Two worlds, one balance. A Demacian soldier is worth ten foes. Okay, that's good. That can help. Grow one of these things to be able to take down a Shen. Their most likely thing is going to be attacking immediately. Ooh, maybe not. You must die. For the honor of my house. Let's keep growing Omen Hawk. You're covered. Duty, selflessness. Lame. Heavy burdens. Enforced equilibrium. Oh god. Alright, so we're gonna, we're gonna troll chant to keep them from drawing a spell. So, do we wanna go Anivia or Fordamasia? Oh, yeah, I should've just had my. I should've just had the bird block the Shen. We each defend our brethren. That's a good attack. Strike, we will reform. Strike them down. What form will the waters take? All right, so they're at ten. Swim within the flows of magic. Go on wide. I sense an imbalance. Engulf them. Try me. You definitely see repost with this fleet feather tracker. Oh god. No. What are they doing? You're in over your head. I will cut you down. Try me. They like some stand united stuff going on here. Potentially. Strike quickly, strike deftly. Nature blesses her followers. All right. Um, I guess I will block there and there. Makes more sense to block here. Meet them head on. It is not yet there. They are under my protection. Nature blesses her followers. All right, we're going to just go ahead and um, concerted strike the Shen. And frostbite that thing. I don't think we really need to kill the Fiora with, I don't know, with it being one health. I don't know, I'm kind of more scared of the Shen. But I'm more scared of the Shen. Gift from the river folk. Yeah, 
attacks. I think I just go right to attacks. I don't want them to... I mean, four Demacia would be a good card to to play. But I don't want to, like, do four Demacia and then they have Concerted Strike and kill my Anivia and then I don't get this Glacial Storm. I think it's going to be important to get the Glacial st Storm. Which, that's true. I guess the Glacial Storm can get denied as well. So maybe because of deny, maybe I just go for it anyway. Strike without worry. No closer. Stay back. Why would you just put? Yeah, why is the three one in front of the one one? Shouldn't it be in front of like the three three. My, my opponent's very indecisive. All right, so they did have concerted strike. What form will the waters take? I have no Eastwood. Alright, make these things a little bit bigger. So nothing is a free challenge with Fiora. Strike quickly, strike deftly. Try me. Your move. If I put something in front if I put a blocker in front here. So we need to maybe worried about judgment. But not like a, I want to put this. So basically, I want to put the sentry in front. From the river folk, waters are still. What would you have? Avros and sentry is the card that I want to put in front. So they have three out of four for Fiora. This is really close. Do they have another fight spell? With Fiora, hopefully not. Please do not, please do not. Barrier. Strike without worry. Barrier single combat. And give the plus two, minus two. I should maybe be giving the plus two over here to the sentry, because they could have another single combat. And go sentry. Ah, proposed. GG's. <laughs> I had my one my one fun emote with having three omen haunts and now my opponent did that, but Yep, GG's. Um, you know, I went after Shen, I could have gone after Fiora. Could have gone after either one. The Fiora only had one kill at the time. Yeah, yeah, all the, yeah, those river shapers. River Shaper is great. Yeah, those River Shapers drill those spells. Yeah. What am I doing while getting Radiant Guardian? We need Radiant Guardian in here. I like having all these Egghead Researchers just give us um, a good amount of bodies to have die. For our Radiant Guardian. In hot. But we'll lead with the hard. Sentry, where Sentry can trade with these. Look out for <laughs> That's a good draw. I like where our hand is. Looking for trouble? It found you. Ask me about dragons, I just may have an answer. Fuse is lit. Discipline and steel. Um. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to qualify for the seasonal tournament while we're just kind of doing our normal, you know, while we're doing our stuff here. Um. We'll see if we get there. So, you know, of course, thinking: Do we want to? Keep Troll Chan up or play another Omen Hawk. Play another Omen Hawk. 
Let's get to it. You will not prevail. Okay. Uh, new donation deck for a meme tier deck. We have landmark only, no champions. So try to get like as many landmarks as you can with like three divergent paths. Our strength is yours. All right, we'll go with the seven seven Avros and Hearthguard over the six six. You know, nothing dying this round. Next round we should uh, certainly have things die, and so we'll be able to play our Radiant Guardian post combat. Oh yeah, my opponent was saying I was supposed to challenge the Powder Keg. Yep. I was kind of just talking about what we were doing, and... Oh, well. This is our homeland. Do I need to kill Not this dead. Misfortune? Already two attacks for Misfortune leveling up? No, I have Concerted Strike. Okay, so we can go this way. down to nine. Love so now that, that only does one. Yeah, so I took I took one extra point of damage by not killing that powder keg. And I should have. Strike for justice. Our banner will lead the way. Try me. They got another noxion fervor. We'll have to concerted strike the Legion Grenadier, which is not ideal, but we'll have to do that. Okay. War Mason, reporting for duty. Make the Empire proud. So I kind of want to keep the Concerted Strike available. Like, I don't know. I didn't want to like play Hearthguard, and then they play. Oh man, that's that's great. And they play like Gangplank, go right to attacks, do a whole bunch of damage with that. Hold back the darkness. Okay, good. So obviously I wanted to do that with the Blade Keeper first before. Okay, they had no, they just had to make it rain. That was that card that they acted as a spell. I wanted to do this. Uh, why am I not playing this researcher? <laughs> just always talking. All right, so eleven mana. Oh, right, that's why. So I can play Hearthguard. Because I'm, I'm playing the Four Demacia this turn. Okay. Because I was gonna Four, you know, Four Demacia and make that life steal even bigger. All right, it worked out. You know, Misfortune on three, Gangplank on five, two Noxion Fervors. They had everything you want, so that was a really good win. All right, this is a, just a good curve. One, two, three, four. Kindly Tavern Keeper, gonna be good here. Now we get a five. It's not Radiant Guardian five, but still, we'll take it. You're talking about Lucian. Anything else? <laughs> what a specimen. Uh. 
18. Getting that Sejuani. Start getting that going. Speaking of Sejuani. Me too, kiddo. Me too. I guess I'm just going another researcher so we can you know, actually have our tavern keeper do stuff. So we'll just block these three. Okay. Now we're cooking. I'm not planning on blocking Draven. I mean, cool. <laughs> they just They could have just attacked with the Draven. Alright, White Flame Protector or Blade Keeper. Um Blade Keeper, we can give this egghead researcher another plus two plus two. So we're putting four five worth of stats into play. The White Flame Protector is putting four four worth of stats into play. Probably makes sense to attack here. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Harvey was scratching the chair. She's wanted to be pet to him. Pet and Harvey now. That's who you were hearing. You can see Pub's back there just chilling. Back. There. There we go. Back there. Definitely wish I could have Sejuani Frostbite at this moment in time. Ah, uh, with vision. Time for the money makers. Wow. With vision. Okay, well. Um. This is our homeland. Like my blade. I mean, going down to six. Ouch. So we can take out one of these two with Sejuani. Which probably needs to be Draven. And I thought I was already perfect. <laughs> so let's see, so this is gonna be like a, a seven one overwhelm. Draven's gonna be uh a five four. So maybe it's crowd favorite. Oh, it's an eight one? Alright, yeah, it's it's gotta be crowd favorite. Pain is nothing. Rules are made to be broken. Like buildings. Or people. You should try blinking sometimes. Dang, good hand. Now Jinx. Good hand. So we could heal the Egghead Researcher 3. Oh no. Flame Chompers is just the worst for me because that gets to pull the Sejuani, so now I can't block the Draven profitably. We can just play a 4-4 four, four or have the Sejuani's Fury of the North to block Draven. Jeez, or block Jinx. I guess I can't play Fury of the North. I was just kind of doing the math. Like, could I play Fury of the North to kill, be able to kill Jinx? And no, I would die if I did that. I could do it to kill Draven. But it's, it's Jinx is the problem. Have to save five life. I protect my own. And so basically this is just the only blocks I can make. There's not any other blocks I can make. Alright, so game plan is Sejuani plus Fury of the North. 
I love that concern strike. That's also good. That'll help Sejuani. This is gonna hurt for you. Because you know, I can I can do another four damage now with concern strike, but you know we don't need to right now because that's zero. So please, no burn spell. All right, no burn spell. GG's three and one. We played against really good aggro hands. All right, so another War Mother's Call deck. This one probably won't work out like the first one. <laughs> we probably won't run into another opponent. Whoa, Shame Jam with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, Shame Jam. We're probably not going to run into another opponent that's just going to um, do as little as the other opponent, right? <laughs> I kind of like him. I don't know. I guess we'll just keep him. Like, the Egghead Researcher doesn't attack for very much, but it, uh, you know, it still uh, makes another Dragon Follower that can attack for more in hand. These old eyes still see far and clear. Awesome. Targaryen King also with the Tier 1 sub. But I love it, man. So many people putting those hype votes in the chat, too. To Y'all are awesome. Okay, so they went Tavern Keeper on turn three. So I don't have attacks now. Um, I guess that's better than them going with Ramp Spell on turn right, three. Let's mess some folks up. So we're we supposed to go, like, Blade Keeper keep going on the Grizzled Ranger because it gets to attack twice. I am really surprised they just passed turn and just didn't play that on their turn. Like, what are they expecting? We'll try to have, like, Troll Chant save Grizzled Ranger. Here we go. If they block with Tavern Keeper. Let's talk about your tavern. All right, plus, minus. Okay. That's sad. But I guess that's how it is. I've got meat bigger than you. No, I mean, our Lux Tom deck was, was okay. Our Tom Lux deck, it was okay. It, it was a little slow. We just needed needed something to do the first three turns. That was quite a struggle for us. Another Grizzled Ranger. So I could split it up with, like, two good-sized Grizzled Rangers. Or I keep on piling on the one Grizzled Ranger and make it really big. Okay, cool, Targaryen King. Cool, you just added an additional month on, on top of that the gifted one. Great. Well, glad to hear that. Thank you so much. We're going to have to deal with this Trinomir anyway. Now it's going to be a 9-9. Trinomir is pretty good. Looks like the War Mother's deck is getting their revenge this game. Okay, okay. I could that can deal with the Trindomir. For the honor of my house. It's very fragile, you know, if they have um, close to anything. Kitty Dexterity with the cheers. Thank you. Keeping that hype going. Never. 
This is like the biggest Grizzled Ranger I've ever had. <laughs> no, don't Frostbite again. Oh, okay, Unspeakable Horror. That's not Frostbite. Probably looking for Pill Cascade. I hope they don't draw Pill Cascade. So obviously I'm not, I'm not gonna just not attack because now they may have Pill Cascade. We're gonna be attacking. Hey, Penguin! Penguin with the tier one sub, getting in on it. Come on, pup. Thanks, Penguin. Keeping those hype boats going. Look, even Puppy's getting hype. She's up there, she's like, hi. So number seven. So we're gonna have our bonus games today. Tomorrow we'll uh, start at two out of five towards bonus games. <laughs> we still have another deck to go. Leave your bags at the door. Something ancient stirs. Yeah, I think the Shivana Swain deck is gonna be really cool. These are trolls. All right, so they did not. Or at least they haven't played whatever the level two champion was. So what if I just open attack with everything? They're at nine. They block, block. They take two, five, six, seven, eight. So they just take eight. So they don't even take lethal. So that doesn't work. Oh yeah, I guess I guess it was yeah, I guess yeah, I guess the Anivia dealing one damage, that would be the ninth point of damage, so it would be lethal there, but this deck, of course, all the Shadow Isle spells, I don't I don't imagine they don't have a single um, you know, Vengeance, uh Withering Whale, Grass of the Undying, Vile Feast, Catalyst of Aeons, um, Troll Chant. Like it's not, I don't think it's possible that they have none of any of those cards, and so that we would do the nine damage. I mean Guess it could be possible, but so my my plan here is like probably Vanguard Sergeant plus four Demacia attack. That's kind of my plan. Yeah, they could have a Frostbite, a Harsh Wind, something like that too. Okay, Avalanche. So that kills two things. Now attacking, yeah, it's the same thing. A Demacian soldier is worth ten foes. Balding Yeti with that sub also. Thank you so much. Alright, so I, this must be a new thing here on Twitch. Do y'all see it on yours? It says... Because we've had all these subs here recently, it says level one hype train. Sub gift or use bits to get to the next level. I have never seen this before. All right, they're just passing again. So do I want to just attack now? They're just passing again. So even if their plan is withering whale, so basically I don't. That's what I'm worried about, like Withering Whale kill these, but even if their plan is Withering Whale, these only, like, these don't do very much damage. Okay, so the plan's Ruination. So we're still gonna have, um, our Loyal Badger Bear, our is gonna come back. Awesome, thank you, Shame Jam. Thanks for gifting out a sub. The guardian. And so we're gonna have, basically we're gonna have bonus stream today and tomorrow. Her 
entrails. Hit them all. <laughs> Thanks, Fox. Thanks for the bits. Man, y'all are awesome. Thank you. Okay, so if I would have attacked out and, you know, uh, how I played into Ruination, if we, if I would not have, if I would have attacked out, we would not have had lethal. They had that Withering Whale that they were, so they were ready for it. We go double hearth guard. They just they're just gonna continue to get level two champions, so that that was probably our window. Um, but it looks like no matter which which way it would have gone, they had withering will, they had ruination, so you know, GG's. They had the answer. Still really impressed with our deck. Three two, super close to you know, pretty close to five oh. And it looked great against the aggressive decks. Those aggressive decks are super good. They had, and they both had really good hands that when we were able to win one with Radiant Guardian, one without Radiant Guardian. Yeah, that's what Ruination can do. Force them to have it. Um, I'm kind of glad I didn't just go straight to attacks and just you know die to Withering Whale. I would have been real sad. Wish we could give this dragon like elusive, like overwhelm or something. The Howling Abyss is pretty sweet. Last two turns they played Gangplank, Nocturne, Teemo, Thresh. Pretty sweet. Now this leveled up Thrash will put in <laughs> either leveled up Trindamir or Trundle. Uh. Yeah, they're gonna dump they're gonna double my zero shrooms. King of Trolls coming through. I'll let them keep doing their thing. You know, like we can't concede, like this, the game's over, but. I'll let them keep doing their thing. Play some more cool level two champions. It's always cold in the Freljord. You're in my kingdom now. Come on in. Come on in. Yeah, Unspeakable Horror is just even better with the Eclipse Dragon. <laughs> all right, Kindly Tavern Keeper. You're pretty cool and all, but... Looks like that's going to be doing it. Hey, Kinkles! Thank you so much, oh, gifting out a sub. It's a hybrid hawk. Alright, so what can this do? What kind of dragon can we get? Something cool? Screeching dragon. That's pretty cool. And it gets the plus two, plus two because of our infernal from earlier. We're still doing stuff. Welcome to the Dipsy Up. You and I have been before, haven't we? Alright, so we got bonus stream for today and tomorrow. So somebody asked what's the bonus stream. So basically we're just gonna even after our four decks today, we're still just gonna play uh, some more games. That's the plan. GG's. This trundle got plus six plus zero. 
They have two of them in play, so they have four more cards in the end. All right, so yeah, like we were saying, three and two, some really good wins. Um, you know, against you looked great against aggro, real good wins there against two um, good burn decks that that had great hands. Um, we split the games against War Mothers. I think that's going to be just overall. That's going to be a matchup that's going to be pretty tough. I think that we'd probably be winning about probably about thirty percent of the time against War Mothers would be my guess. You know, thirty, thirty. Well, maybe you know. 30 to 40 percent um yeah maybe, maybe closer to 40 all right so let's go 40 percent. so probably winning about 40 percent of the time against war mother so we're happy with that split um we did force them to have a ruination with um how we played it i liked how we played that last one forcing them for that ruination and we put it in a good spot but they had it so they they ended up winning there um and then you know, our other loss was that that fiora game that was uh pretty crazy that was super close to a win all right, but there we go. So I think this deck this deck performed pretty well. Um, anything to I like like the Blade Keeper performed well. Um, Egghead Researcher was really good. You know, I liked our early game with these three cards. We got those random dragons. Uh, yeah, everything everything actually performed pretty well. There wasn't anything that I was disappointed in with the deck at all. I liked it all. Um, yeah, you could go Tiana out and get a third Blade Keeper in. I wouldn't be mad at that. That will give you... Um, that would be, like, you know, better against the against, against smaller decks like you're playing. But then against, like, your War Mother's deck that's going big, you'd rather have the Tiana in your deck where you can get an extra attack step. Um, you know, especially when they're not expecting it. So I could see either way. Um, if, you know, like, whatever your preference is there. I would not be mad at. All right, but that's Anivia Sejuani. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd really appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.